Today, I'm going to visit a geocaching living legend. That's coming up next. Hey everybody, it is Joshua, the geocaching vlogger, and I am in West Virginia, and today I'm excited to tell you that I am going to visit West Virginia Tim. You might wonder, who is West Virginia Tim? Well, he is one of the greatest geocaching creators, hiders in the world, and he has invited me today to his workshop to talk to him, and I'm super excited to meet him, and guess what? You get to come along with me. Let's go. All right, guys, here we are. We're going into West Virginia Tim's uh, workshop. This is where the magic happens. Am uh, I right? I don't know if you call it magic, but it's magic. It's where the cash building oh, happens. Oh, okay. Let's go. <laughs> Take me on in. Here we go. Oh, welcome. Doug. Welcome. It's like the Wizard of Oz. It's like <laughs> it's like going behind the curtain. Uh, it's, it's amazing. First impressions. It looks like a typical workshop. It is. But when you look a little closer, you will recognize that this is a uh, uh, maker's uh, wonderland, basically. Now, in case my wife watches it, there's okay. a lot of furniture making supplies in here, honey. Oh, okay, this, yes. Not, not a lot of this makes caches. No. Because she wants me out here making furniture. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, Thank okay, you. okay. We've had that moment. Okay, good. Okay, okay. Okay, now back to the caching. Tim, the first thing I'm seeing right now is I'm seeing uh, uh, something pretty pretty amazing and pretty epic right here. Well, let's this, show, show us what this is here. Josh, this, oh! Josh, this is going to be one of the lab caches at oh. GeoVinstock 13. So you get to see this one tomorrow. Oh my gosh. But this is a copy of uh, the Quick and the Dead. Okay. And what makes this cache great? And of course this cache is simple. You don't, uh, well, it's not even set. Let me set it. Okay, set, set the so trap. Set the trap. Set the trap. And then you set it. So okay. now when people find this one, Josh, okay. honestly, if you think about it, that's a, that's a garage door spring. Yes. So you have to ask yourself, <laughs> is there a possibility that this could be real? So people walk up with sticks. They get nervous. Oh, yeah. And they, they punch it <laughs> to make sure it's not going to go off because if it go off, it could catch it. Yeah, that But hurt. here's what people do. I welcome photographs on mm -hmm. this cash. Yes, so, encouraged. So people do these, you know, do these, they're going for the cheese, so yes. I get like, oh, I'll, I'll do it, Josh. Okay, yeah, do it, do, so do something. they lay down here. And oh, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, they're doing right, all Do that this. again. That, you know. That's going to be the thumbnail for this video. There. <laughs> uh, so they, I mean, there's whole bodies in here. Oh, gosh. And people's, but it's fun. And it so, fun. like we said outside, the cash doesn't have to be hard it just got to be fun so this is a fun cash and awesome. it's a great picture opportunity for the awesome here, here, we, go. Yeah, here yeah, we go snap it <laughs> okay perfect so tim this is actually going to be a lab cache yes for geo woodstock right. and the code for, if you don't know what lab caches are uh, it's a little bit different it's kind of a web-based thing all you have to do is get a secret code word so this i'm not even going to tell you where it is but the secret code word is somewhere in yeah. or on the cache. And I got another, here's another Ooh, lab cache. Okay, cool. This was on the Geo Woodstock um, web, web page. So awesome. uh, this is going on the mystery caches of Berkeley County. So we talked about that down at the yes. lake. Yes. So this is one of the future caches in mm -hmm. the mystery caches of Berkeley County. It's cute. It There's is a cute. store here. Okay. My wife took this uh, clipping and she pinned it off Pinterest. Oh. And so she said, you're all the time making geocaches. Will you make me this birdhouse? So she took a cache that had a tree uh -huh. and um, it had different painting, but it, she, she did this tree. So I go walking in the house with it. Well, I came up with an idea to take the design and make a, a gadget cache out of it. Nice. So I go walking into the cache and I go, hey, Marsha, look what I got. <laughs> and she goes, oh, that's adorable. And I go, oh, it's not for you. It's a gadget cache. <laughs> wah, wah. So there's a lock. Uh, there's a lock under here. Okay, let's see. And, yep, uh, yep, there's the lock. There's the lock. Okay. So you, what you're going to have to do when this gets out on Mystery Caches of Berkeley County is figure out what you got to do to open it. And awesome. it's, it's, it might take you a little while but it's fairly simple and we're not going to reveal it you just have to come here and find it i now i love this if you were going to be a geo woodstock uh you would you're going to you have already found this one time you see this video yes so this is a lab cache you know it's a um it's a geocache because i've done my little um simple drawing of yes. the geocaching symbol here and at geo woodstock 
it's going to tell the cacher that they need a dime because we want them to solve it fairly quickly. And if you just if you just pull on this right now, nothing. Well, and you try to open it. Nothing. Oh yeah, nothing's you, happening. You can't open it. Can't open it. And so there's nothing you can do to open it. You can turn it. And yeah, it, and it's, it's not. And it's, nothing's working. Yeah, fairly secure. But if you take a dime, okay. Then all you do is you take a dime and you place your dime uh, here, mm -hmm. and then you just put it in. Yes. And then a simple little turn. So simple. And then it opens up. But so amazing. And this, uh, and I apologize, I don't have his name. This is an idea shared with me from another cashier. Nice. Because that's one thing about uh, this community. We're all the time sharing ideas. I love people to take my concepts and run and go build their caches. So a gentleman sent me a cache and a picture, and he said, now this is, it's done different, but the concept's mm -hmm. the same. And he said, hey, would you want to use this idea? And I said, hey, can I use this for a lab cache? So, so you don't always have all the amazing I, ideas. I, oh my gosh, no. I'm, <laughs> I'm a dumb country boy, uh, but you know, I love sharing ideas and I tell people on my videos, Hey, take my ideas and run with them. And I don't care if they copy the exact cash. Right. Uh, but what's more important is they take the concept yes. and they take the concept and run with it, and make it their own. So this was an idea shared with me and it's just simple and as cute as can be. Now at Geo Woodstock, I'm going to run wire out of it and put it down in the ground. Oh, cool. And I want people to think twice before they, right. uh, before they do it. And then you just lock it back and there it goes. A little coin operated. Just be. Coin and, operated. And it's like course, an better than any arcade game I've ever seen. I, absolutely. And then the thing about it depends on where you put it, right? So if right. you stuck this in the middle of the woods, it would stick out like a sore thumb. It wouldn't right. be. But if you find a place that you can put this that's near other electrical devices, but you still label it so nobody yes. else, you know, do anything stupid. It's obvious. Uh, so it's going to be an easy find, but still it's kind of fun cash. And you awesome. kind of walk away with a smile. Awesome. Great. So there you go, guys. If you were not able to make it to Geo Woodstock, those are the three uh, lab caches that you would have had the opportunity to find, uh, but you got to see them virtually. So thank you, Tim, Absolutely. so much for, for giving the rest of the world an opportunity to see those. Oh, look. And so there's a GeoCat in here. There's a GeoCat. So every, um, um, every workshop every, should have a <laughs> GeoCat. Yeah, and these are a few. I'm not going to show you these. But the these future. Are, this is the future. These the future. Are, they look like simple birdhouses. Um, um, but these are all future caches on the MCBC trail. So Tim, we have a lot of bird houses here. Why, why is it that you always build bird houses? What's it up? What's up with bird houses? The thing about bird houses, you can put them anywhere. In fact, places you, you couldn't normally put a cache. You can put a four by four post and put a birdhouse. Everybody thinks it's a birdhouse. Yeah. So we were out caching the other day with someone, and there was a birdhouse right beside one of the busiest banks in Martinsburg. It's, I think the county says 2,000 cars pass within five feet of this cache <laughs> every day. Yes. But it's painted to match the colors of the business. Yeah. It's sitting on a four by four post, and everybody drives by and thinks it's a birdhouse. So when you build birdhouses, it kind of opens up places that you can actually put them. And Nobody's gonna bother the birdhouse, right? No, they're, yeah. not, they're not gonna be like, oh, I wanna well, check out a birdhouse. Yeah, if you're back 10 feet, you don't even see these letters. No, uh, you it's actually, decoration. You actually have to get close. Uh, this is West Virginia Collars, blue and gold. And so if you're back, you know, 10 feet and driving by in a car walking by, you just think it's a birdhouse and you don't even know that that hole's solid. Yeah. Perfect disguise. Yep. Now, from first sight, it looks like a normal sort of workshop, but there's things in this in this workshop that you would not find in other ones. Let, let, let's just let's do some examples here. Oh, like just a random frog with yeah. something stuck in its butt. Uh, <laughs> a little Tupperware supply up there. Oh. Uh, nice. Wait a minute. I wonder what are you oh. gonna make out of this? <laughs> oh, this. That's kind of that's this kind cache, of risque. This cache has been <laughs> archived. This was welcome to West Virginia. Oh, okay. And it was archived several years ago. Okay. But uh, <laughs> this is a cute story because the cache is here in the heel of the shoe. Uh huh. So I'm out walking and I find this shoe. Uh huh. And so. Um, the cash is here, so I would say welcome to West Virginia. And I tried to tell people that West Virginia does have some class, so this was my <laughs> classy. So people would find it, and they'd say, uh, "Only thing we did was pick up a bunch of trash," and so we they DNF it. And so I ended up having to attach this to some oh, geocachers being so conscientious. Yes, would throw my throw the trash away. Throw the cash away. I didn't realize that this was a cash. Oh, that's so. funny. Yeah, I'm sorry you saw that one. Oh, that's, no, that's okay. This is this is but, behind um, the scenes. We uh, got here's a cash. Bottle. Here's a cache in a bottle and the corks in here and so I found one like this in North Carolina and I was just playing with trying to duplicate that.
Yeah. I got oh, tons, yeah. tons of locks because you got to be able to have different kinds of lock, locks. Lock those birdhouses. So you got here's numbers and here's numbers. Uh, How about a cache that has uh, cents? Yes. Um, Found one like this. Yeah. This is so cool. uh, there's a cache that has cents. Everywhere yeah. you look, it's it's uh, cash, cash, cash. Yep. Yeah. This workbench. This workbench. There's something special you told me about this workbench. Yeah. This uh, this workbench. Uh, if, you, if you take a look at it, I don't know if you recognize it, but if you did anything with Maker Madness, yes. Uh, HQ. Uh, I sent them a picture of one of my caches, and they said uh, they didn't. I don't think they cared much about my cache, but they said, "Boy, we love your workbench." Says, "Can we get pictures pictures of your workbench?" So this workbench was in the background of uh, all the Maker Magnus souvenirs and oh my all, gosh. all the stuff. So this this is this, famous. This is the bench. Right Fame. Here. This is this is the real thing. I'm touching history. Awesome. Yeah, and I made this workbench. Awesome. Uh, Just random toys laying around here. Uh, these are toys these are uh, this is inspiration Josh this is this is it this, this is this, this is your mind right this here is inspiration um, this is uh, people have seen the cash called the library and then you use jumper cables yes and you just buy this at a uh, you know automotive store so mm -hmm. it's simple a car a simple car antenna mm -hmm. uh, walking through a toy store I found this energy stick one time and um, so I thought, well, how can I use that for a cache? And so you can make a connection here and here. And then when you touch, complete the connection, uh, you can see the lights. It can be a multi. It uh -huh. can be the code to a lock. Um, I love this little thing. I'm walking through Lowe's one day, and it's a, I got a photobomb cat here. <laughs> I'm walking through Lowe's. Here's a motion detector that turns on a light yeah. for only 12 seconds. So I use this in a cache, and so it's look. You can just walk through Lowe's and get ideas. Perfect. Um, how about child safety locks? Yes. Uh, you have to use a magnet to open up a cabinet door. I mean, sky's the limit on ways that you can use that. I'm walking through Lowe's, and I see a uh, a solar light. Again, you walk by the uh, solar light, picks up your motion, and then turns on the light. And it's got a solar panel up on the top. So I've got a cache now on my new trail on the MCBC trail. It's called Solar House. Nice. And so uh, uh, I use this in a cache. And this was one of my early um, gadget caches. Uh, this was in Widget. And mm. this is a motor that uses, it's a real simple little teeny motor, but it uses a double A battery. Mm -hmm. So you can put a double A battery and have the cache drop down or come up. And all you do is reverse the battery. Awesome. So little teeny things like this, yeah. you just look at them and you get great ideas. Some people think that when you make these gadget caches that you're actually like creating all the mechanisms inside of it. But a lot of the stuff, you just get it for inspiration. You purchase stuff at like a hardware store or a toy store or whatever. I spend a lot of time in uh, Toys R Us and Lowe's. <laughs> All right, guys, there you have it. Exclusive behind the door of the workshop of West Virginia, Tim. Tim, thank you so much. Hey, thanks, It's Josh. been awesome hanging out with you today. I'm excited to get out there now on this beautiful day and find some gadget caches. If you're looking for West Virginia Tim's YouTube channel, it's called Gadget Caches. I'm gonna put a link in the description below where you can find it and make sure you go there, subscribe to him. He's gonna continue. You're gonna continue to put out some videos. Yes, yeah, awesome. Absolutely. And he actually shows you how to make some of these amazing amazing caches. Um, if this is the first time watching the Geocaching Vlogger, please click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our amazing adventures as we continue to bring joy to the world one geocaching video at a time. And as always, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. All right, hey everybody, I am here. I'm in West Virginia. I'm not only in West Virginia, but I'm actually in the Appalachian Mountains. Are we in the Appalachian Mountains? Yes, you are. All right, awesome. Hey everybody, this is West Virginia Tim. I'm just gonna say it world famous geocaching living legend right here. He has invited me to his beautiful home and I'm excited because we're gonna go up to his workshop, but I wanna to talk to this guy.